could help out. So we do have a we have a Wakefield resident that owns a distillery. He's located in South Boston. Okay. He's he's a Wakefield resident. So, you know, maybe we ask the question, you know, would you ever consider moving Absolutely. to your distillery to Wakefield? It's closer to your home or a second location because he's he's very successful in in South Boston. He has a um, a whole venue area that he rents out. He has a tasting area, everything. So he does functions. You know, maybe he's open to a second location, or maybe he would if the the location is right. Move the whole business to Wakefield. Right, and if that was paired with uh, a solid local winery, a really good brewery, et cetera, et cetera, that would they, they have um, the walking wine tour, so the uh, urban wine tour in Santa Barbara, where you can walk basically to fourteen different wineries within like two blocks of each other, and the place does very, very well, it always has for a super long time. It wrote my wife into getting a membership to a winery. But um, if you get non-competing factors in the same space, it will flourish. If you get three breweries with all very similar beers, it's never gonna work out. Like I, I wouldn't bring multiple breweries to Wakefield, maybe two, max. That's all, that's all we really need. Um, but the subcommittee meetings, if we could potentially like uh, set up a time where we can just get together a little less formally and run by ideas and kind of like get this uh, business retention and expansion aspect of it kind of, you know, going a little bit more. I, I think that'll be helpful. I'm definitely down to make the time for it. Two quick questions. Subcommittee. Yeah. Don't, for subcommittees, we still have to post minutes and right. yeah. record those, right? So it's not, it would never be like an informal. Right. It's, it's always under open meeting law. But does it have to be a regular meeting? It could just be us linking up. No. We can never do that. That's yeah. illegal. Yeah. <laughs> you still have to post um, your agenda. You still have to record minutes. Right, right. I haven't got to that chapter yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, so as long <clears throat> there's a whole quorum aspect of it, it sure. depends on how many people are going to be there. But I think for being transparent within the community, it's not to talk business without it being. Okay, then I am equally as happy to have a, another meeting here for <laughs> this aspect of it. It's a big part and it's a big fun aspect of what we're doing here. So, you know, I can. Uh, I'm, I'm more than happy to join that. Go. Or we could just go get a bear. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I mean, we just, you know, unfortunately can't talk about anything. <laughs> Aaron, I just have another right. question on the, the pop up in general. Yeah. Um, so if we went after a location in Wakefield mm -hmm. that has been empty for a long time, time mm -hmm. would we be able to go after that grant in massachusetts for underutilized buildings as well and use that for no time? that's for like second and third floor the underutilized properties program i yeah. touched on um for a pop-up in general yeah. uh no that's more for um right now i think a lot of it's going to be residential but renovating yeah. it to make space you know to redo spaces okay. and things like that. So to add an elevator or to do some build out, uh, add sprinklers, things like mm -hmm. that to bring it up to code. Okay. Um, unfortunately, it would it would not. So we wouldn't be able to use it for one of the properties that maybe hasn't fully been brought up to code. I mean, yet, and that hasn't, that's why one of the reasons maybe it's not rented out or. We could, I mean, they couldn't apply for that program. There's been two uh, property owners I've sent all this information to, and I can't apply for them on their behalf. I can sign a letter of support, but so it would, it would still have to come from the landlords. Yes, yeah, so yeah. Uh, we just applied for it for a town building. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, um, something that maybe we How about should... zoning. Are there any like parking and and other zoning concerns with with these pop ups? Do you think? Um, that's something that I'd have to talk to our building inspector on. I think a lot of these businesses that would be there would fit the zoning for a business district. Uh, mm -hmm. I never like to speak about zoning because that's not the zoning administrator and don't want to put my foot in my mouth. Um, but I think a lot of the times that for these pop-ups, um, a lot of them would fit within what the business district is. Now, the use itself for a pop-up, that'd be a question for the building inspector, something that I think we could work through. So I'm going to do a time check. We have, it's five of eight. Are folks willing to spend a little extra time or folks have to leave that eight? I can't. I've got a there. cranky baby that needs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Rocco? I'm fine. I can, I can stay another few minutes. Sure. Okay. Folks here? Mm -hmm. You have to run? Good. Okay. Good. Um, so I'll see if they, I guess, next up, if they can come to the next meeting, answer any on 
And the question if it makes sense to move forward, great. If it doesn't, then that's fine too. Um, so, in, so do you think, I think the conversation around the micro loan is gonna be a longer conversation? I just have an update. Okay. Yeah, so I don't have much more since last time. Uh, just to be completely transparent, all my time has been dedicated to the facade and sign and just other projects I'm working on. But I did meet with, um, I wrote this down so I wouldn't forget anything. Um, Allison Lamey, she works for the Lowell Development Financial Corporation and Marie Dickinson from the city of Lowell, um, who, where I kind of got this idea from. And then last time, someone brought up the Lawrence Partnership um, about as being kind of an example. The LDFC does a similar program. Um, so their program is called a Downtown Venture Fund up in Lowell. And this fund is set up specifically to assist ventures that add value and diversity to retail and restaurants. Uh, in downtown Lowell by making uh, low cost financing available. Um, the concepts usually are restaurants, specialty food, art galleries, antique shops, coffee house, specialty bed, bath, and kitchen, accessory shops, blah, blah, blah. You get it. Um, funds a lot of times are used for design work, construction, equipment purchase, inventory, and working capital, and they can only borrow up to 100,000. There are no payments due in one year, and the interest um, actually there is at 6%, but it's deferred to the second year. Um, so going to the thing, I think this is important for you, this group to know, because it's what we talked about in length last time. There's currently eight banks participating in this program up there, both local and regional banks. Um, the LDFC currently holds about $376,000 in their fund contributions for this program. And the banks uh, don't, uh, don't need, they contribute around 19,000 is the least amount of money one bank contributed and then up to 45,000. And so the process there is that uh, if you wanted to apply for the downtown venture fund, there's a pre-approval process by the city of Lowell. So that would be me here. They do a full application, fill out financial information. The city gives the okay, the green light for them to then go, if they think they're a good candidate, to the Lowell Development Financial Corporation, where they review the application, look at their financials, do a credit check. So they're the ones that handle all that. Um, from there, there's this downtown venture subcommittee that's made up of some of the people from the banks look at the proposal, interview the applicant, and then an the executive committee uh, makes the final de decision and a commitment letter goes out. And LBFC is the entity that's kind of in charge of the loans each year working with the banks. Um, so I think a big concern is John and I, we met, John Smolsky, is how we'd manage this project. Um, you know, the role is a different beast than us. I think the idea could work at a smaller scale level. Um, but I think that what we're missing is that middle part right now is the LDFC being kind of the facilitator in all this, um, which I thought maybe the, the chamber could be uh, because it's really interviewing. They're the ones to do the background checks. So, you know, maybe there's a way we could create a committee through the EDC and have to think about that a little more. It'd be a question for uh, the town council. Um, but Allison Lamy has offered to come meet with John Smithy and the two um, presidents of the banks to kind of talk it through. Um, and we haven't, I think John was going to kind of poise it uh, uh, to the two bank presidents and see if they'd be open to other banks being involved. Because I think, again, you know, you talked about this about, it makes sense. So yes, right. Um, so I haven't set that up yet, but I will based on some feedback tonight. And I, I guess I, I've come back, like I said, to the conclusion, I'm open to other banks joining as well. So that's kind of where I'm at. My thing with, um, that in just thinking that it's a time constraint to trying yeah. to get these other banks. So, you know, they're not, we already have the community, two real community banks. Yep. So going after the other banks that are there, you know, how do you get to them? How do you, who do you talk to? And do we have that time? You know, so it's probably going to take a while to get. Yeah. I mean, then the banks we have here, what? Eat, uh... Eastern. Eastern Rockland. Yeah. So that's a whole other beast. And right. like you said, there's yeah. levels to them. Right. Here you're talking to the president yeah. of the bank. Right. right. And so right. to, that, yeah, that's a concern yeah. of mine. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of work that would have to go into finding these who will be there. And it would probably take months. Mm -hmm. And we already have two of our wonderful right. banks mm -hmm. partners in town. I but I still just don't want the no, chamber to be in the banking business. No. Mm -hmm. And it feels like. No, I know. Right. You know, we don't really, I don't really want them. Right. To be a bank. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, I, the, what was the, the, the commitment money dollar wise you were looking to do with this? And how does, you know, our, our commitment fund wise? So I originally said 150, um, hoping to up it a little bit. Uh, and then if we got some buy in small amounts from the local bank that we could get like 250 or so um, to 250. Could we try it with in a small scale, and then if we get real successful, then we can. But I, I, I again, I, I think 150 is a lot for us to put in that. Okay. And I think I want lender buying. I mean, so so what what's our 150 doing? What would what, what we buying down the rate? Um, what what uh, you know who's setting the interest rate on, on this that we're doing these micro loans at? And I, I don't. So I really don't want the chamber to play bank. How, how, yeah, yeah I, the more I talk about it, it wouldn't. How big are micro? I was just trying to, usually less than five. Yeah. yeah. So they're tiny, right? Yeah. So 150, 5,000 all, that's a lot of loans. Right. So what if it was. So less than $5,000, do you think they're in? Micro loan is usually tiny. That's why it's called a micro, right? Yeah. I get the yeah, bankers it's, here. Yeah. It's smaller. <laughs> yeah. Much smaller. Yeah. Um, so. So 150 of $5,000 loans, that's an awful lot of loans. Um, yeah. And do you folks not work? I know Eastern Bank, actually, when you go in Eastern Bank, you talk to the, the bank um, manager, mm. and they are connected, uh -huh. and they have all sorts of community programs. So they're actually, not, not that you guys aren't amazing, you're absolutely amazing, um, but they have a lot of community. They're, they take pride in what they do in the community, yeah. and they actually have um, a program that's similar to this. Mm -hmm. So it would be interesting. I know what you're talking. Yeah. Well, yeah. The large banks have more of an opportunity to fulfill those. You know, you know, we, we especially our 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 bank. It's uh, you know we wear many hats. Um, so, but yeah, uh, I know I already spoke with Jeff about program and and things like that, and he's yeah. he's for it to a certain extent, and I'm sure uh, uh, the savings banks the same way. Um, so managing the, the loans themselves, we used to do a thing called a, a fresh start program where we would give, uh, very small loans to, for folks that were kind of having credit issues and things like that, small dollar amounts. Um, they didn't work out very well, to be honest with you, but, um, there's always an opportunity, you know, what, so uh, I'm just trying to you know, figure out how, how this plays out with the actual money and loan amounts. And, you know, micro loans to me, I was thinking, you know, maybe a $10,000 loan, subsidized interest rate of some sort. And what are you going to do with that? And I, I don't know that there are 10 places that would take $10,000 loans. I, 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 I would be, be delighted to be wrong, mm -hmm. but, but I, I don't, I don't see 10 places in town that would want to do that. And, and, you know, especially, I guess we're talking about grant money in some places for some of these things. So what's, what's a, what's a micro lane for micro loan for? I just think it's something that can live on in town and yeah. it's something that sets us apart from different communities with the low interest. I mean, the grant money by the end of next year, it's right. this lives on. Um, What's the collateral? Oh, it could be anything from the equipment um, to, they said even <laughs> they've done things with people, the homes, mortgages and or the home collateral. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you have information that's on the types of businesses that took loans in Lowell and the size of the loans? A lot of restaurants, um, a lot of restaurants up to 100,000. So there's it's called like the downtown venture fund. So buy equipment, do the build out of their space and things like that. And so the, the idea of not doing a pure grant is because you want to keep it going. That's ideally, I think, would be, be nice. But again, it's up to this group. It's just an idea that I threw out. So what I would be honest, it seems like a lot of work. I like, love the idea, but 
And you get enough jobs. <laughs> yeah, I'd be fine not doing it too. Um, do you want to keep this on and we continue having discussions or? Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Can you just get your calendar? So before the next. Yes. Meeting, we just. just yeah, put, it, put, it, put it on the uh, definitely put it on the calendar and I'll talk with Jeff more about it. Um, see what we can do. I see what some of his yeah. questions might be. And I'll see no. if I can set up that meeting too with the folks. They might have some ideas. They've been running it for a long time at how you scale it down to a smaller level. Um, sure. I've worked with Allison for many years. And so mm -hmm. she'd be more than willing to, to come talk to us. Rocco, you get your calendar? I'm sorry? You have your calendar? Um, sure. This year has, yep. to, has to go so if we can get the next meeting on. Um, okay. <laughs> July. What do you got? What are we thinking? So should we, are we okay for July? We have another meeting. Um, okay. First, we uh, from the maybe the twelfth. That following week, the following two something? weeks, I'll be on vacation. Yep. And take my grandkids up north for a while, and my wife and I are going to here, there, and everywhere. Um, the first week in July and the last week in July, I'd be more than happy to meet anytime. And if July you wanted to. Count me in on a, a call with uh, like, with the bank there in Lowell. I'd be happy to. What about the twenty? So you're away the twenty fourth. Yes. Okay. Oh, well, hold on for a second. I get to do it July twenty fourth. Trevor, how about you, Will? Sure. August is really tricky. July is really easy. Oh, okay. Aaron. Yep. Yeah. Yes. You look at the twenty fourth. Twenty fourth. Yeah. 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 That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, you did. I just got Zoom. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I just got to check. Waiting on you, Rocco. Can you do the 24th? All right. I want to come through. July 24th is no good. No? Definitely no good. How about the 31st? 31st works 31st is definitely good. How about the 31st for folks? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Yes? And? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, 31's better. Um, yeah. Okay. You want to do a little earlier? Or? I mean, this is five weeks away. It's, we're expanding our meeting times, but if that, you know, if we obviously want to work with people's schedules and stuff to get the, as many people together. Right well, now. Then you get the 10th, and well, that's just two weeks from now. Yeah, no, I'm on vacation. <laughs> okay. I think we need some breathing room a little bit. Uh, okay. If you can do the 31st. Sure. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Take care about my opinion, but well, with the survey, to yeah. analyze the survey, yeah. I can maybe have some updates on the science side by then. Uh, yeah. What about the time, though? People can do a little bit earlier or not? Yeah, I'm happy to go oh, earlier. Six o'clock. Yeah. Six? Definitely go earlier. Could you go earlier? Yeah. 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 Earlier on the thirty first. Yeah. Six. That's uh. It should be okay. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So six on the thirty first. Okay. Yes. Okay. There. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything you want to have before you leave? Anything you want to? Did you have an idea that you want to just throw? In? No. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's eight ten. I have an idea to present. Oh, um. So anytime. Anytime I go into a, a new space, new municipality, and they've done rehab or they're revitalizing the downtown, it is always a mural. So, is there anything else? That was yeah. a little deal. Yeah. Um, so, I was thinking if we could do, there's a few places, maybe. Um, I've talked, to, and I communicated with a muralist who has worked with uh, Wakefield artists. Um, Chatted with some of the folks at the school district, and they are a thousand. If we can get the kids involved, and maybe coming up with an idea, um, so maybe if we throw some money in, and then get the arts council, who actually works with the uh, Wakefield uh, Culture Council, who also has money. So we say, so a number twenty grand, and they can match twenty, then we can really do some really cool art mural projects. That was where's that out of my mouth. I think it'd be great. I looked over your shoulder. You know. uh oh, uh oh. You mean like a <laughs> bunch of murals? Every time I drive around now, I'm like, <laughs> um, so you're looking for funds from here for this? Mm -hmm. um, and then also the elect, we don't have that many electric 
boxes, but I know the electrical boxes get done. Yeah. My kid went to Virginia Tech, and uh, they put uh, designs on all those boxes. They look really good. Yeah. Um, you don't think that fits? I love the idea. Okay. Uh, we currently don't have anything. I'd have to check our bylaws um, because there's been discussions on murals, what can and can't be done, especially in certain zones and things like that. Um, so I, I hate to be the negative Nancy because we're trying to act not to try to try to think of creative things. Um, and then we're using town funds for it to or our upper funds for well, it. Well, who's got the answer to that? I'd have to talk to our Tom building. Mullen? Uh, Tom Mullen and I talked to our building, the zoning administrator, so, and, and Steve Mayo. And of course, yeah. you know, and it's town property too. If we're, well, not necessarily was, town property. I wasn't thinking right. town property. It was actually oh, I thought you said right. schools. Oh, oh getting the school kids involved. Oh, artists oh, from the school kids. Yeah. Yeah. Starts, amazing. Generate a lot of interest. The owner of the building just right. yes. well, uh, well, yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Obviously, you know, the, the, the one that, I don't know if you mentioned it, but the, the place that I would love to see the nicest mural is on um, the Kytron building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. What's that? Which. Um, Jiffy Loop, like behind Jiffy Loop. Is um, Camelot. Camelot. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's a green, mm -hmm. like, Old yeah. Mill, which is the ugliest facade in Wakefield right now. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Sure is. <laughs> it still is. Um, and then I know in, they, so when they sponsored my uh, used, um, they sponsored my little league team actually, Kytron. Yeah. <laughs> Back in the day. <laughs> and then again, just like leveraging, so taking funds from here and then leveraging like the Wakefield Cultural Council who also has funds for something like this. Art right, always brings people out. Mm -hmm. Storefront that is taped up and looks not all that great would look really cool with student mm -hmm. girls on it. Like, it just brighten up everything. It, right? I, I feel like that time. came up once, though, something like that at town meeting because of bylaws yeah. as far as putting art in windows. Well, like, there was sign overlay stuff about um, window, you know, covering window paintings, window signage. But, uh, I think a murals um, on building facades in certain places. I, I know you've got a zoning concern. And... Well, it's here, yeah. Um, they, you need a special permit for it, so we'd have to look more into what that looks like. And that's zoning? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So is that something um, we apply for? Um, for the, the owner? The owner applies for it. The property owner applies for it. Yeah. Yeah. Who applies? Or, or, or can we apply for that? I assume the owner, of the building, would do it. Yeah. And do a budget. Building. Building. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, the welcome to Wayfield. You see everywhere you go. Welcome mm -hmm. to Warren. Welcome to Wayfield. Would that be something? Excellent example. Yeah. Do you also I like it. I think it's a really good idea. You know, the uh, that's, Smith. That's one of the murals I was thinking about. I'm not trying to hear the negative Nancy. Building. This is just stuff I deal with on my side. Yeah. No, okay. that's, that's part of why, yeah. you, that's why you're here for, yeah. for okay. that feedback and those answers. Yeah. So um, it's something we've been talking about how to make the process easier, but as of our bylaws stand right now. Um, so I'd have to talk it's to difficult. To, at best. I'd have to talk to Benny and Tom Mullen, and they might tell me you're overthinking it, Erin. Um, which would be nice. Yeah. And However, you know, I, I like that you overthink some stuff like that. Um, no words. You also, too, if you're using town funds or something like that, as well. um, just want to make sure that we're crossing all our T's. Well, they're not town funds anymore. Correct. Well, you guys are part of the town. That don't have to funds, right? Right? Federal funds. Well, it's where I know. I am. <laughs> yeah, if we can, I wanted to bring it up. We wanted to bring it up. Um, to see if folks are thinking this is a good idea to pursue, because then I can pursue it a little bit further with uh, folks to see if, like, how much it actually cost. Um, maybe chase down some property owners to see if there's interest. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. that's the next thing. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I think once we find out if it, it's doable for the town, I think it's a great idea to bring yeah, different great. groups together in town and, and do like a whole community project, really. Make it fun. Make yeah. it fun but if it's just a special permit, it would just be getting the special permit, no? Yeah. 
we just have to yeah, see what the bylaws. I think it's a good idea. All right, so I'll, I'll do some more legwork. I'll take that off your plate. Mm -hmm. Anyone else have a, um, cause it's 815. I have one quick, um, and Will brought it up and we've mentioned it a bunch of times about having some type of directory mm -hmm. of where the spaces are. Yeah. And my question is, do you go to someone like Barrett's to say oh, like what's, what's around? And I wouldn't mind giving Aaron some help by paying someone to be able to go around mm -hmm. and give the directory and just kind of mm -hmm. maybe talking to the real estate agents to see what's out there mm -hmm. and somewhere. And I know I've talked about it with the chamber a hundred times that somewhere say on the chamber website and the town website, if I was a business, like Will was saying that I want to find out what's available in Wakefield, it might help. It never, it's never going to be complete. But it might be a good starting point for a business to look like, oh, wow, look at this. Like, do you have someone at the chamber who could do it? Because then we could pay. Well, we could, yeah, we have people that. that we could pay, but, um, you know, John only works part yeah, time. We, John's working the, 40 The whole hours chamber and, paid yeah. staff. So <laughs> probably not but staff wise. But, right. Yeah, I mean, it could go through the chamber. Yeah. Somebody's well, having, you know, I don't think. As the time of right. not, you Aaron, know, do you so think you have a resource that would do that? Paying someone to talk to the real estate agents, maybe doing a little footwork and going in to see the owners and whatever, because they probably want to rent this. I think it's a great idea. Some of them. And, um, you know, to let, this sounds like a directory that lets people know, like, what's available. Yeah, very good. Um, that, I don't that know data should be readily available, though, right? You would imagine in the town, town hall somewhere, vacant buildings yes, or... It's not like a... Not that easy to find. Like an MLS, do you jump on MLS and you find a bunch of commercial space? Right. In like I said, I used to belong to CoStar when I first started here, right. but it's not worth the money for a small town like ours. Yeah. Um, don't you agree? Yeah. yeah. Um, they don't do a good job. It's the small vacant storefronts. I mean, LoopNet, you'll sometimes see stuff, like I'm on LoopNet right now, but... Um, well, they're not the same. But now that, yeah, they're owned by the same, yeah. Um, so I think it's a great idea. Great idea. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll bring it up next. We'll get yeah. to that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the one... Which will, so on that point, uh, what's it worth? Is that a $10,000 project? Or is that a... Well, is that two thousand dollar project? And it's always changing too. So right. It's not something you just do once. We'd have to get on top of it. And what does that look like? It's just someone good. that every quarter they uh -huh. you know, they hire them again to just check out what's out there and what might something might have rented because of what we did, which would be nice. The chasing down commercial space right. is <laughs> like you know, as the friend would say, herding cats because right. there's so many different sources and it's right. so many. Oh, you know, there's. The mailing address is different. The, 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 yeah. Yeah, so it, it is a real job to try and yeah. put that, right. that down. Yeah. And it is worth, I think, it is worth spending some money I agree. to hire someone to do that. I'm just not sure who you would hire to do that. Well, we can think about it. Well, it's, creating the list is easy. Like, we're going to list of all yeah. commercial products. It's just somebody has to manually look or call or email or send a letter and that, right. that's right you know, five thousand dollar project yeah. i would imagine yeah mm. yeah agreed yeah i think it's good yeah at least at least i mean i used to just drive around that's what i've been doing but list the properties uh with the addresses do you want to um and do you want to take that in because you said you you've done a little work on it already at the chamber yeah yeah okay. and then we'll put it on the agenda for yeah. next time yeah all right Okay, great. Sure. Great. Anybody else? Good. Good. Excellent. Um, so Dante was going to come. Dante owns 129. So he's calling it Ellie 129 Convenience over on Vernon. Mm -hmm. Super nice guy. He drives up here from Milton. Um, if you haven't had his empanadas. Yeah. <laughs> um, right? Um, My kids go crazy. Yeah, he's looking to he's looking to redo his sign, and he's looking 
he needs help with the uh, digital marketing. So I thought I didn't, I'd invite him to come, um, but he was, he, he wasn't sure because his, his business stays up till eight. Um, maybe we can get him on the phone next time. But he's like, you know, I'm going to get a new sign. I'm like, okay, good. And he's like, I need help with digital marketing. I'm like, okay, good. <laughs> And we also have to, um, we wanted the politicians, uh, delegates to come and um, speak. So they're in session right now. So mm -hmm. maybe the, when we figure out what, yeah. we, what date we want, mm -hmm. I can reach out. Do you want to reverse engineer that and ask them when they're available okay. and you find? Yeah, because we'll be the, the next meeting because of, yeah. and yeah. then maybe, so maybe yeah. August or yeah. whatever. Um, any announcements? Um, sorry, I just have something I wanted to mention real quick uh, with Art Balby really quick. So when John and I were meeting, I just asked, like, what do you need from the chamber? Is there anything this group could do to support you other than this microloan funding-wise, too? Because um, I think they're a huge asset. And I don't know if this was discussed with chamber members here, but we're looking to do a speaker, business speaker series um, that would all be businesses related. Uh, for example, we're looking to get one going on nonprofit profits and how to get started and operate, uh, which I think is great. Um, so the idea of, I asked him, okay, how much would you want? <laughs> and he said $10,000. So I didn't know if that's something we'd want to consider allocating some funds from this to support the chamber for, because it'd be helpful. He said be open to all businesses too. And I think that's like that. Maybe the time for co-sponsor. Oh, co-sponsor. Like, yeah. Of, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So, and people? Yeah. yeah, I think that's great. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Rocco? Sure. Yeah. So, we just need to call for our. I know, I'm just checking. Thank uh, Can I um, get a motion? <laughs> so moved. I was looking to see if anybody was not. So, <laughs> make the motion for a dollar amount and. A motion to um, to give the chamber $10,000 to um, co sponsor with the town of Wakefield a speaker series. Second. 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 So, all in favor? Yes, Rocco? Yes. Yes, Chris? Yes. And yeah. Yeah. Yes. Julian, yep. Yes. 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 Um, anything else on? No, it would be under announcements. I just want to bring that up during ARPA. Seven, any announcements? <laughs> So I think we're in good shape. Um, what, did I say this already? With the allocation of money, um, there's being an agreement put together between um, the town of Wakefield and this council um, that would allocate this group the money. Um, so basically, the money would be out of the, the hands, and we wouldn't have to worry about it being scaled back at the end of this year. So we would not need to complete all our projects by the end of this year. Have it allocated. We Interesting. I thought Ed said it has to be in the account, whatever account we're going to. That's work. what we're working at, the agreement. So this money would be transferred to this. There's an agreement that this, this group's in charge of it. The money's been allocated to this group to spend the money by the end of next year. So uh, they're currently working on that agreement, and I hope to have an update for you at the next week. What are the signatories? Next weekend. Uh, I don't know. Okay. I think that's something we let. We let them figure out and uh, we'll have, yeah, I think we're in good shape. So it would be very hard to have contracts and everything done by the end of this year. So that's my announcement. Marco, any announcements? Nope. Nope, oh, Chris? Good, thank you. Yeah. Nope, good. Good. Um, I, I did uh, the, Podcast with Kate Clipper, Gabriel, yeah, yeah. Um, she said, you know, amazing group, really talented. Reached out to Erin. Um, think of us on bigger, like if there's, you know, I know the Hilly administration is big on AI. So if you're having conversations at the state level, think of Wakefield. Um, it was interesting because I'm not sure she, because she took a note. So that was good. Like, oh, good. <laughs> um, not sure if that's going to, if she's going to actually broadcast it or how that all works. Um, well, any announcement? That's great. Um, just to, so we, we can't meet outside of here. So do, do people want to meet? What we can do is we or can at least an email chain. 
we or can, something. We can schedule, if folks want to have a subcommittee meeting, we can schedule one. Do you want to have a subcommittee meeting? If folks want to do I do. One? I do because I think it would be helpful to just cut everything down to exactly what at least I'm most passionate about. Um, I don't want to be selfish and try to take away other people's time, but here we're covering so many different topics. We only have so much time to discuss um, and we're just scratching the surface right now. So we're gonna July. Who else would? Rocco's in the committee. What else we got here? Rocco, you want to do a sub? Yeah, I'm. I, I definitely would be interested in that. Well, all right, I'll jump on a sub. Yeah, you know, just for like an hour, just to focus on a couple different things we can all bring together. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, was Ali? Denise, we already. Yeah. Yeah, this is the business retention. Correct. Yeah, so it was Rocco, Ali, Ali. I'm sorry, I keep doing that. Julianne, Ed, and Will. That's what I have. Are you in? Mm -hmm. Okay. You pull your calendar again. Yeah, right here. Okay. When are you around? You said the first week in July. I'm here the first week in July. You know, it's funny. I'm, I'm scrambling on my laptop, <laughs> and my flipping <laughs> phone is, is yeah, next to my phone hand, phone. and that had all the information that I needed. Um, so... Um, I'll, I'm not available from the 12th through the 28th. I think so. Can you do a morning, Rocco? Sure. I'm, I'm right at the uh, Cooperative Bank across the street. Perfect location. Mm -hmm. uh, like 10 o'clock uh, in the morning works. Works for me, too. Yeah. Um, I'll have to check my calendar at work, but... Um, Thursday, the eleventh. Oh, actually, next week's kind of tough with the Fourth right. of July, but um, I could do Thursday, Wednesday, or Thursday at eleven. That work for you, or even ten? You do ten. Yeah, ten. Ten's good. Ten's good. Okay. Yeah. About 10 on the 11th. Perfect. All right, cool. We said it's that we're going to meet. Where did I say that? Is it too early we for a brewery? To... <laughs> so we just have to decide where we have to meet. Um, can we? For the bank? So who, how many um, are you going to be there? One, well, the two, three of us three, have, have to talk to four. Ed. I, it's it's not a big thing. Yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah. So the four of us. Because it's a subcommittee, so it's smaller. Yeah, it's just a quorum number. So there's nine of us, so you should be fine. I just always like to err on the side of caution. So uh, mm -hmm. yeah, let me double check that you given it's, like, it's a it's the subcommittee, so the quorum's a but still you're still members of this council getting together. Correct. So that's why it has to be like a meeting. That's why it has to follow up a meeting. Yes. But we don't have to hit the, the quorum for the nine because it's a subcommittee. The quorum's just quorum's like if you had five, five and four. So we have but the subcommittee still has to be published. And, yeah, you know, the time you frame you have to get shared. You can't have five because then you're going over the right. quorum. And I believe with the subcommittee, you still have to offer the Zoom yeah. option yeah. for the public. Yeah, okay. that's where I was getting there. So we'll find a space. Yeah. Okay, so we'll yeah, I'd offer up at one of the conference rooms at the bank, but. Uh, who knows, like, who's going to be here or there or whatever the case may be. So, let me check the library. We can check the library. Yeah. I'll check That's the cool. library. That'll work. Okay. And is there a way? Uh, I know that Erin, when she was emailing up before, don't reply to all. Do we have each other's emails so in some EDC email? So, if you write to because then I can send it out to everybody. Okay, okay. cool. All right. Awesome. All right. That's why I was asking. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. We so, we can be mm -hmm. a little prepped for said meeting. Yep. Yep. Uh, Fantastic. Great. Any items not anticipated? I guess this was it. This was not. <laughs> uh, so I make a motion to adjourn. So I'll make a motion to adjourn. Chris, right. second. Second. All in favor. Rock, are you in favor? Aye. Absolutely. Yes. Unanimous. Thank you, everyone.